last three minutes. Uh, we'll be started once you give us your name and address, and we'll start picking it down. Thanks for Renzi, 197 Millicrest. I think we all know what topic I'm getting ready to mention. Yes, a discriminatory RV ordinance that is about to have a second reading. Why it's made it here, I can't know. As I mentioned many times before, the ordinance that either passes or fails tonight affects working and retired middle class families through the city of Crestview. 7,800 plus or 70% of the city that was just pointed out to us. <clears throat> this ordinance is a gross over government overreach on individual property rights. The way the ordinance is written leaves massive holes for possible litigation and is open to interpretation. <clears throat> what is screening? Well, we have heard that it's a possibly a potted plant or any other type of trailer that is not considered an RV due to all other types of trailers being exempt from the ordinance. Even if we use common sense and say screening is a six-foot privacy fence, then typical RVs, plated, tagged, paid for, privately owned, <coughs> are access of 10 feet in height. <clears throat> We've heard that the building code is meant to only allow Crestview citizens to park automobiles equal to the number of bedrooms. Well, that code is meant to be used against developers to ensure a 10-bedroom house isn't built <coughs> a single-lane driveway. Once the builder is gone, the property changes hands, and the homeowner then to the homeowner can park whatever he or she legally owns and pays taxes in their driveway, such as a boat, cargo trailer, etc. Except for an RV, if it's passed. I must be confused with what the difference between the two are. Let it be clear so there's no confusion. If you vote in favor of passing this ordinance as it sits or in general, you are voting to take away individual property rights of every Crestview resident. You will show that you are for big government and everything it stands for, the because I say so mentality. If you vote against this <coughs> ordinance or no, then you vote to ensure the individual property rights of all Crestview citizens are not stomped on by big government ideology and agendas put forth and fought for by unelected officials of the city of Crestview. LPA quote, it is better than what we had, Mr. Vincent. Isn't there something more useful we could have used for the last eight plus months? So far, I've seen well over 100 plus people for RV ownership rights, and maybe two or three against them. If you are the people's voice, then where are all the people that you are supposedly speaking <coughs> Vote no. Any questions? No, thank you, Peter. Uh, Peter Hansen, 197 Millicrest. 